Hey everyone, it's Nadia from Leadia Designs and I'm back with another video. So I'm super excited about this one today <laughs> because I'm actually creating a purse and you guys loved the first one that I created. I first created a round resin purse, like where the sides were rounded. And we did a really cool kind of embroidery looking technique on that one. So if you want to check that one out, you can go back and see it on one of my previous videos. And then since then, I've had a lot of um, requests for doing the rectangular uh, purse. So that's what we're doing today. And like I said, I was inspired by Book Talk. What I saw was that people are actually making purses or like clutch purses out of books. It just looks so cool that, you know, you have a book and then they open it and it's a purse. It's just so cool. So I was inspired by that and I thought, why don't we do something similar? So anyway, so if you're not familiar with um, how the clutch purses work. Basically how it works is that you'll get a mold and I believe you get the hardware. So you get this, which is kind of like the, the opening. And I always do this wrong. So this opens here and then you'll have the mold. So you'll pour. And then when you take this out, of, whatever you take out of the mold here goes on one side and then you would pour again and then that would go on the other side. So that's typically how it works. In this case, I actually have two molds <laughs> just to keep things a little bit more speedy. So I do have two molds, but normally you would have to pour twice unless you have two molds. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, um, we're going to be creating kind of a book. So what I have is this. <laughs> the book we're going to be making is going to be a Pride and Prejudice book. Now, this is one of my all time favorite movies, um, the 2005 version, which is the new modern version. I'm not a big movie person, but for whatever reason, this movie gets me every time. And at least once a year, I watch this movie. <laughs> so I do have this. So this is one, there's like so many book covers for this book. This is the one I ended up picking just because I really liked kind of the look and I thought it would look cool on the purse. And I do have you know, the, the spine and the back as well. So I'll show you that to you guys later, but I want to quickly show you what book we're working with. Okay. So anyway, so the first step we're going to do now is we need to pour our resin. So I'm just going to be pouring resin into both of these molds in a color that somewhat matches as close as possible to this blue, because that's kind of the book, even though we're going to be covering pretty much all of the outside of the purse. I want the inside to still kind of reflect the same similar color. You could do it something different if you prefer. In this case, I'm just going to stick with it just in case we have any kind of little edges exposed and things like that. It's not going to show too much, but all right. So let's get started with that. Before we move on, I just want to quickly mention that this video is going to be a kind of an overall process video. So what we're doing is I'm going to show you kind of how to pour and then how to assemble and all that kind of things that we're going to do for this project It's more for inspiration just to kind of give you the idea. But if you're looking for more detailed information in terms of, let's say, how to prep or how I put together this book cover, the print and all that kind of stuff, and or in terms of the the products that I'm using, links to the products that I'm using, those type of things, you feel free to join membership. So Patreon and my YouTube members, we get together a couple times a month and we go through these videos in much more fine detail. And we talk about everything. We talk about the entire process, any questions that they have, I answer, We I provide the links um, in the membership, um, you know, tabs or posts and things like that. So there's a lot of benefits to membership. If you are looking for more you know, information than just kind of the basics of what's shown in this video here. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter just because it seems like people want shorter videos. So if you want longer <laughs> explanations on all of this stuff, join membership. All the details are in the description. And you'll notice with these molds, you can't really tell them with when you just have this, the molds themselves. Get all that rid of that. Is you can see that there's like one side that has kind of a divot in it, and then the other side doesn't. So you can see it's flat. So each side has the divot, and that's important to know because when you are putting it with the hardware, 
So right here on this side of the clasp, and like I said, I can never remember. So it's on the back side of the clasp. There's actually like a wire. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a wire in here that is helping it. It's kind of the hinge for the clasp. So it has that. So this way, when you go to put your, your purse in, the, the hinge isn't going to get in the way. So just to show you, like so, right? It also has these here as well, and I think that's to cater to, actually, I think that's just the mold. So uh, unfortunately, it just has that pattern. So that's the one thing with these is that if you're making it just like, just like this without any designs on them, you might, regardless, it looks like you're going to want a top coat because you're getting, you know, some imperfections kind of on the sides, unless you want to consider that part of the pattern. But you are getting that that from the mold on the sides okay so anyway but just so you know that's why we have those divots so that's going to be important for us to know when we're putting the book together as well um, because like I said, this is going to need to go this way over the hinge then this one's going to need to go that way so we need that's important so we're going to need to keep that in mind okay Okay, so I zoomed out a little bit because there's a lot <laughs> happening on the table right now. But um, so I have the front cover that I printed and these are all just printed on my home printer. So I have my front cover, I have the back cover, and then I have um, the spine. I have two copies of the spine and I have two copies of this, these pages basically. I want... You don't have to do this part of it if, unless you want to be super particular, which <laughs> I do because I want to try, <laughs> but I just want to try it to see. I'm hoping it works out. If not, this could put potentially this part of it could be just scrapped altogether, but um, I want to try. Why not? Let's just go big and see if we can get the whole thing to work. So, so I have that. So let me, so I also have my paper cutter here. So I'm just going to quickly uh, trim these down to size. Okay, so I have these guys ready to go and I have all my covers uh, cut and I also, so you can see them all here. I have them like that because I also sprayed the backs of them with spray adhesive. So just this stuff here. Um, so, and I'm not gonna, I decided I'm not going to trim them closer yet just because I think for the covers I want them to overlap so this is the side that we want that's the top and we're just going to go ahead and see if we can place this cut those corners off just going to see if we can wrap this around so like so Okay, so we have our front cover down for the most part there. Like there's a couple little edges that are being a little bit challenging. I'm just gonna take some regular tape and I'll just tape those down really quick. So I taped it down. It doesn't look beautiful, <laughs> but it's not gonna show. So it just gives a little bit of extra security that those edges aren't gonna lift up on us. But um, yeah, we'll trust the process. <laughs> this is gonna work the way that I think it will in my head. So, okay, so we have that, and then we have our pages. So kind of like that. And again, I wanna get these edges kind of taped down because I want the, I want it to kind of look a little bit seamless around the edges here if I can. So I'm gonna rub those down a bit. Okay, so that is, we have the sides on now. And I cut out the, the notch and then we have this one here and then the back so again this is going to be the spine so it's going to go this way okay so for the spine what I have is I split it in half so there's two halves so because this is going to be going along the way like this so that's going to be the top that's that so with the spine that we need to use is this one right here and I'm lowering it slightly for a couple of reasons. One, it kind of gives that, you know, little bend in the spine that, that look. A little, not great, but a little. You guys can see that there. And also, I wanted to make it so, I because the spine isn't super wide, I want to make sure that when I go to put it inside here, that... 
so it's like that. All right, so let me get this one set up and I'll be right back. So it's going to be like that, right? So, so it's not going to show. And then we, this way, when we do the other side, it's going to have the full spine like that. All right, so I'm going to do the other side and I'll be back. The second one always goes faster <laughs> than the first one. But anyway, so this is what we have so far. So we have the front and we have the sides. And remember when you're putting on the sides that you're going to want it to look like that edge is the front cover and then the pages and the same thing with the back cover. So we have that. And then the, and really important, I think, as well as when you do the back or sorry, the spine, you're going to want to have them make sure they line up as best as possible. So this way it looks like even though it has this big <laughs> hinge in the middle, it kind of looks like it's lined up. So that's what we have so far. Now, I know the next question is going to be we can't resin over this because we didn't laminate it or, you know, somehow protect it in some way because we are going to need to pour resin as a top coat on this. So I do have an idea for that and we're going to test it out next. Okay, so my idea, and I haven't tested this, <laughs> so I have no idea if it's going to work, but I think it will. Logis logistically, it should, but, uh, you know, logically, <laughs> it shouldn't, but who knows. So I haven't tried this, but I was thinking that if I use um, contact paper or it's the same kind of thing of covering, you know, actual books. Sometimes uh, when I was younger, we used to actually have to cover our books to protect them. And... Um, this is this kind of stuff that we would use. So I'm thinking that if we use that, we're actually it's actually going to allow me to not just cover individual sides. It's going to actually be allowed to wrap around the entire piece as well. And then that should cut and create a nice seal. And then we can go ahead and top coat the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get that uh, cut down and laid on now. And so again, we'll jump into another time lapse. I'll show you guys how that all works. And then, yeah, then hopefully... Uh, we'll be ready to move on to top coating. Okay, guys, so these have been top coated now. Um, they look pretty good, but a bit of an issue, a little bit bigger than a little issue, to be honest. But um, so you can see here, we had a little bit of the resin seep in under that contact paper. Obviously, it would have been from the corner. Somehow I missed, you know, per getting a perfect seal on that corner. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to attempt this, you want to pay extra special attention to the corners. Um, now, the other mistake that I did, which is a much bigger one, and I knew it when I did it, and I did it anyway, <laughs> so learn from my mistakes, is I didn't, when I was wrapping the contact paper around, I didn't, I basically stopped it here, I cut it off at the edge, when I should have wrapped it around the entire edge here. And what's happened is because I cut it here, I thought, oh, you know, it should be fine. The resin will just drip off. But really what's happened is the resin was sitting under there and it just caught some of the paper and it just the paper just sucked it back up. So it's happened. This one's not too bad. It's a lot worse on this one here. Here you can see not so much on the spines. The spines are fine, thank God. But um, yeah, so a bit of an issue with that. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to fix it. Um, this one, the corner here, I can't really, I mean, I could attempt to redo this entire panel. I'm not really going to do that because I'm uh, just not, <laughs> but the sides are a bigger issue for me. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. Mostly in a time lapse. The way we're going to fix it is basically redo, um, the sides. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This has been a struggle. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to show you what happened after I, um, you guys saw that I was trying to fix what I was creating here and I showed you the time lapse of that. Um, and then I'm going to kind of go through now all the things that 
isn't going right <laughs> or is kind of wrong. Now, not saying the I don't. It's not saying that I don't like the idea. I think the idea is great, and I definitely um, I'm going to mark this one as a fail, and I'll show you why. But I have ideas on how to fix it, and I'm going to be creating another video with the fixed version or what I'm thinking the tweaks I can make to make this whole thing work properly. So I'm just letting you guys know that now that I'm marking this one as a fail because like I said, the idea is good, but I think if everything had worked the first time, like if I had done what I wanted to do the first time on this, I think we would have had a better result. But I think in actually having this fail, it's actually uh, kind of brought to light or gave me some other ideas on how I actually can make this even better or make it work even better. So I'm going to test that out in another video very soon. Like it's going to be in the same week as this video. <laughs> like I'm working on it starting today, the day before this launches. And then I'm hopefully in the next couple of days going to have that for you. But let me show you what has gone wrong. I, I put it in, but it's not glued in place because again, I think it's a fail. So I'm not going to glue it in place. I'm not going to finish this up because I'm going to redo it. Um, I'm going to redo a different book cover and also this one because I love this one. <laughs> I really, really like it and I want this one to work, but I need to redo it. So, okay. So what happened is, is I, as you saw in the time lapse that I wrapped around, I think this one still has it showing. So yeah, you'll see that I wrapped the book cover uh, film over it but it's not even sticking that well. Like it's lifting and it looks terrible, which is why I didn't want to do it in the first place is because it looks kind of terrible here. Um, but one thing I did learn is resin doesn't like to stick to this book cover stuff. So if you, when I had it wrapped around, I didn't need to liquid latex these edges or anything because it, the resin was just basically not wanting to stick to it. Now, while that's a bonus, and so then what I could do is I, when I went to peel the drips off, now I can actually, let's see if I can show it to you. I can actually peel that off as well. Maybe I'll do from this side. I can peel, cut that off as well. And then I can literally just pull this off because it doesn't even want to stick to the resin and the resin doesn't want to stick to it. So they don't like each other very much. But anyways, so technically you could use, you could wrap it around and then cut off that edge and then that would leave a clean inside. You could still do that. And that's what I did on this one. I kind of took it out already. But anyway, but in the same idea that the resin and the book cover material doesn't, doesn't like itself, uh, sorry, like each other, um, what's happening is when I was trying to peel the drips off, this resin was peeling off the book tape as well, because I broke that seal that was down here. So that's a problem because now, because that's lifting, technically I could probably tape it down, which would be fine. But again, we were back in the same issues is like in this, I don't know if you guys can see it in this spot here, the res I had to peel the resin off. So now the resin's missing here, right? And same things happening here. Like it's basically happening on all the sides. So now when I try to put this in here, it's catching. Well, I peeled most of it off now, but like here you can see <laughs> it's catching and this resin is peeling almost right off. So that's the issue that makes it a complete fail for me right now because I can't assemble this and have it look it doesn't look great and it's literally falling apart so that's the first fail of this um and the fact that because i was fixing you know this the my first mistake um it doesn't look as great when you have two layers of that contact paper or the book cover film on top of each other because now it's creating kind of a weird kind of pad, but a bubbly pattern. It doesn't really matter how much you, I was pressing it down before I resined it. It was just causing that. So a multitude of things just makes it not perfect for me. And I mean, obviously not everything needs to be perfect, but it's also, it's not, it's not nowhere near perfect. Like I don't think it's passable for me personally. Again, I love the idea. I think it's going to work. I just need to make some somewhat significant, not significant, but, um, like not major changes, but the ones that I'll make, I think will be significant enough 
that it will work the next time. But that's all part of the, the process, guys. Like, and the reason why I'm posting this video and showing it to you is to show you that not everything that I do works first time either. <laughs> Almost every time I'm creating a video for you guys, almost every time, except for when I'm doing like larger paintings and stuff, it's the first time that I'm trying it. I had an idea in my head and I just want to try it and I want to see if it's going to work. And majority of the time it does work, which is great, but there are times it doesn't. And I think it's important to let you guys know that not our, things don't always work the first time for me either. And that's just, but you can't be afraid of trying it and experimenting because you it will lead you to the right solution later on. So that's just part of the reason why I want to show you guys this video. I really did part of me want to just scrap the video altogether and just start over and not show this part of the process. But I think it's important that we know that, you know, sometimes won't work with sometimes things just don't work. And you learn from them. And then you figure out how to do it better the next time. So that's what I want to show you guys. It does look super cute. Um, assembled and like I said it's not gonna want to go together nicely right now but and oh and the other thing I want to mention was with me doing you know double layers of the contact paper and double layers of the resin it's just making the the wall of the purse thicker and then that starts causing a challenge to fit it in here because mine is at the extreme of how much I can put in that to fit it. So whereas before it was a little bit easier before I had to try to fix my mistake. So keep that in mind as well. You don't want to have your walls too thick. The walls, the, the, space I guess on this frame is almost an exact fit on the circle purse. It was much bigger. So uh, looser, it seemed like, because I feel like I didn't have trouble trying to place the the resin piece in to the frame, um, even after like a coat of of uh, resin and stuff like that. So that like after top coating it and things like that, whereas this one was a bit more of a struggle and it just now it's even worse now that I have a double layer of everything on here. So keep that in mind as well. You'll want to be careful. But like I said, I love the idea. Like I really like, if I don't look at all the flaws, <laughs> I really like this idea. I love, you know, the spine. I love the fact that it looks like a book, like everything about it in terms of design, absolutely love. So, I mean, obviously, again, let's not look at the flaws, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think the idea is great. And when I do the next video as well, I'm not going to bother this one because it's probably not worth everybody's time, but I will also show how I'm going to finish the inside. Um, diff I'm going to do it differently than I did the first time. The first time I did a, um, a fabric liner on the inside. So if you want to see that, you can go back to the circle purse video. Um, this one I'm going to do a little bit differently and a little bit more a simpler solution for that. But anyways, guys, so that that's the video. <laughs> I'm really sorry this one didn't work out perfectly. And like I said, stay tuned for the next video. It's coming out in a couple days. I'm going to make sure by, you know, the next three or four days, hopefully it'll be ready unless, you know, something crazy happens. But I'm going to make sure I get that one out quickly so you guys can see the process of this. Um, but, you know, upgraded, leveled up. <laughs> so it's better. Um, and it'll actually work hopefully first time without me making any mistakes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions, I mean, like I said, I have an idea of how I'm going to fix it, but if you have any suggestions in the comments, feel free, put them down there. I'll read them and definitely consider them as well. And I know a lot of my followers will read them as well and, you know, get tips and tricks from you guys. If you guys have tried anything like this before too. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.